<sighs> These brands will do anything for money nowadays. Look, I want to start the preface of this video. I have no beef with anyone that works at Young LA. I have no problem with the company up until recently. Look, they can make their merchandise, their clothing, do all that. That's fine and dandy. Make the fitness industry a better place. But what I can never stand behind is when you choose money over morals. And what I mean is, just to give you guys a little recap, Young LA had an athlete who was quite popular on the social media platforms, specifically on Instagram, named Daddy Eoli. First off, cringe name but he got dropped from young la in march of 2024 so still this year keep that date in mind when a video of daddy in 2022 surfaced <laughs> Essentially what happened is this daddy guy, I don't wanna to have to call him that in this video, what are we gonna call him? POS. So POS is going popular, viral, then this video surfaces from 2022 in which this instance occurred. Of course, backlash, right? As it rightfully should. One of the most messed up things you can possibly do, in my opinion, warrants a much more severe punishment. To be honest, the dude shouldn't even be allowed to be on any social media platform or anyone for that matter that commits the acts he did. So at the time, Young LA does the right thing. The great PR move. Removes him from their team, even makes a statement on their socials. They say, hey everyone, you guys might have heard about the videos regarding a certain athlete and animal abuse. We just want to make you guys aware that the particular athlete is no longer part of Young LA and has been dropped from our athlete program. We take this matter very seriously and we do not condone any sort of behavior like this. So if you do not support any type of behavior like this, you didn't even wait a fucking year? You bring him back on board, and yes, his code is still usable, which if you guys did not know how that system works, you get a discount, they receive a commission. So they are still profiting off of this guy's social media, having him on the team, on a payroll, but they try and keep it all hidden and under the radar. And this is the part that bothers me, is it's really just money driven. They don't actually care about the dude's morals. The only reason they probably removed the dude from the team back when this happened in March 2024, was because the dude got busted he was associated with the brand. They wanted to cut ties temporarily. Hey, we're going. We're just going to separate ourselves a little bit until this blows over. Once it blows over, hey, guess who's back on the team? And it's just the most scummy thing you can do. And once again, I don't have any beef with anyone in Young LA. It's no one in particular. It's just that is such a about move. It'd be like if my brand brought on a child president. He gets busted, maybe I'm never aware of it. I remove him from the team, but he, let's say he was making some killer sales. As soon as all the drama blows over, I bring him back on board. That makes me a fucked up person because you're supporting and endorsing a fucked up person. So what was really interesting was around a month ago, this daddy, or sorry, POS, got his name wrong, in his Instagram bio had that he's a young LA athlete, right? He even added it back in, the, the balls on these guys. As soon as it started to get called out, but not only by my Myself, but other social media influencers that are out there. What do they do? What's, the, what's their next PR move? Oh, we gotta just remove it from the bio and he'll subtly promote on every single post he does if you actually read the descriptions. So first off, not only is your name that you came up with in your code cringe beyond all belief, you are a POS, you shouldn't even be allowed social media platforms. Young LA should really be held accountable for this because once again, if you're endorsing and helping support someone who has some fucked up morals, no empathy, empathy for animals and those around them, it also reflects onto you. And everything isn't all about money. 